It has been 14 years since Michael Jackson, the man who made the world admire his music, died. On August 29, 2023, the pop king would have turned to 64. The singer died of a cardiac arrest on June 25, 2009, but his death is still shrouded in mystery. Jackson died at the age of 50 from an overdose of the anesthetic propofol on June 25, 2009. It was reported that Jackson's personal physician Conrad Murray found his body with a weak pulse, his nose grazing him even with the help of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. He was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California nearly two months after his death. Michael Jackson, only daughter, Paris, says she believes her father was murdered. In an old interview, Paris said she believed Jackson's death in 2009 due to cardiac arrest was staged. Others believe Michael Jackson died of a drug overdose. Reports say he died from drug incompatibility. According to Western media reports, the star was highly addicted to painkillers and was being administered the seductive drug propofol daily, which eventually killed him. So, it is alleged that when his doctor, Conrad Murray, once again gave him intravenous propofol, the singer had an atypical reaction. The pop king went into deep sedation and his breathing stopped. The doctor gave a hard massage and things got even worse. Dr. Conrad Murray, Jackson's doctor, was convicted and later found guilty of manslaughter and sentenced to two years in jail. There are several theories about Michael Jackson's death. One suggests that Jackson is still alive and faked his death because he had large deaths. However, an autopsy on his body confirmed that the body was indeed Jackson's. Shortly after his death, a bodyguard was reported in the media to have seen Michael Jackson allegedly crossing the border between California and Mexico, but no one in Mexico reported Singer alive after that report. In addition, many people have noticed photos of Jackson's body after death from UCLA emergency vehicle. The body has no cadaveric bluish tint and there was a bloated vein on his forehead, which is physically unrealistic an hour after death. That said, it is strange that there is only one photo from the intensive care unit. But even this photo raises questions because the windows of such cars are tinted. The ambulance workers said that Jackson's face was covered and only his hands were seen from under the sheet, which looked like hands of 70-year-old men. The ambulance in the USA has to go with sirens in a such situation, but the video from scene shows the car just calmly driving without sirens, even letting the bus pass in front of it. Even more questionable is the fact that Jackson was buried in a closed casket. According to relatives, such a decision was made because the artist's face was severely damage during resuscitation. However, many believe that the body in the coffin simply wasn't there. His family didn't allow the photographers to take posthumous photo of the star, but later published them themselves. Of course, these photos are still suspected of being a photo montage. Overall, there are too many questions in this story. In addition to the strange behavior of Jackson's relatives after his death, questions are also raised by his strange choice of doctor. Two months before his death, Michael underwent a medical examination 
and his condition was satisfactory. This dog would have found the best doctor in the States to fix his health problems. But 11 days before his death, he hires Conrad Murray, a doctor with debts, credits and a dubious reputation. Meanwhile, journalist Peter Jr., who managed to get into the cemetery where Jackson was buried, find out that the star's relatives had paid absolutely all the cemetery employees a total of about a million dollars not to come to work on that day. According to a popular theory, all the Jacksons had a motive to fake the Pop King's death. The fact is that Jackson had a huge death after the harassment trials. And this debt was more than one billion dollar. And no tour could have covered those debts. Even after Jackson's death, they would have fallen on his family. However, the star's death brought his family a huge amount, far more than what he had earned during his lifetime. Thus, on Jackson's death, his family earned about six billion dollars. And yes, before his death, Michael Jackson claimed that that would be a show that people would have never seen before. And maybe that show was his staged death. Nobody understands till now what really happened with the Pop King. Maybe he really died at June 25, 2009, but I really believe that it is just impossible. And yeah, maybe an autopsy proved that he is dead, but nobody knows it till now. Maybe he is really alive and who knows. Maybe that autopsy was also staged and everything is just a big fake and just a show of the greatest king of the pop music of all the time. Thanks for watching guys. My name is Legacy and I hope that you loved this video. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of family. Be part of Legacy. Bye.